How's it going guys? Welcome back to Nexus Core. And today we got another deck profile for you guys today and it is Alden. So Alden is a new Divine Skill unit that came out in DZBT04, or yeah, 04, Destined Showdown. So new Divine Skill, new support for Alden. It's a really fun deck. But before we get into the deck profile, I wanna do a quick shout out to our sponsor, which is 50 Cards. You guys already know how much I talk about 50 Cards. It's the best place to pick up singles, your playset bundles, sleeves, deck boxes, play mats, anything you need for Card by Vanguard. 50 Cards has it for you, and you can get an additional 5% off when you use code NEXUS. So thank you to everyone who's been using the code to support the channel, it really means a lot. And thank you to 50 Cards for the amazing opportunity. And without further ado, let's just jump right into the deck profile. Okay, starting off the red line, we got our new cards. This is all completely new units for the red line from set four. So the starter is Admus, Tranquila for the grade one and Soidus, Soidus for the grade two. These are all retrains of the original Alden ride line, which I think is really cool, but with new effects, except for the starter. The starter is the same, just new artwork, which is pretty dope, but I still like the fact that we got all new art. And the grade one got a new effect. It's when it's wrote upon by the new Soidus. You look at the top five, choose a grade two or greater, put it into your hand, shuffle the deck. If you did not add a card, you can energy charge too. So more energy is nice, but also being able to look at the top five for a grade two is very specific because you can look for order cards or specific grade two units to help you build the board. So this is really good for that early game push. The new Soidus, he's also got a really cool effect, helps build the board when it's wrote upon by grade three Alden. Soul Blast one, look at the top five, choose one grade three or less from among them, call to rear. So pretty much call anything to the rearguard circle, really, really good for helping build the board, simply for a Soul Blast one. And then the new Destined One of Protection, Alden. So Alden has a need skill of continuous when a card will be called by this unit's ability to an occupied rearguard circle. You can return the unit that was already that was previously on the circle back to your hand instead of putting it into the drop zone. So it helps you uh, prevent you know losing cards per se. So that way you're not really minusing when you call new units. So the first skill is continuous. Uh, when a card would be called to a rear guard circle by this unit's ability to an occupied circle, you can put the occupied unit back in your hand, which is really nice. Auto when it attacks, kind of boss one, draw a card. Choose a card from your hand, call it to rear. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, it cannot be retired by your opponent's card effects and it gets an additional 10K. So that's like the protection part of protection Holden's skill. Then the divine skill, act, soul plus one, once per game. Look at the top seven, choose up to two cards from among them, call them to rear. Till the end of your opponent's next turn, they cannot be retired by your opponent's card effects. So while the divine skill isn't anything like crazy, it's just board building. It's still really nice because you can use it right away, just pop it, build a board, push your opponent. So it's there if you need it. Uh, I do think that, you know, the deck, you know, could have used like a little bit more of an aggressive <laughs> divine skill, but board building is uh, is okay. So that is it for the ride line. I'm gonna move these aside and we're gonna get into the grade threes. So these are gonna be all the grade three normal units, starting off with three copies of Alden, just so we can persona ride, and then four copies, Razionel. 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 When this is placed on rear, E-Blast 4, draw a card. So that's pretty much where all your energy is going for the deck, it's just this card. So it's basically when another unit is placed on top of this uh, by the ability of your Alden Vanguard, the place unit gets 10K, and then if your opponent's Vanguard's great through rearguard, you can Soul Blast 1, choose one of your other rear guards and stand it. And then obviously with uh, Alden's skill, this unit would go back to your hand after it's called on top of it. So this is pretty cool just because it sets you up to give a unit more power, it helps you with multi-attacking, and obviously you place it, you draw a card with E-Blast 4. So a lot, of, a lot of resourcefulness with this card. So definitely wanna run four copies of that. So that's it for the grade 3s. We're gonna move on to the grade 2s. The grade 2s are also really simple. It's just four Teeth Fault and four Air Mac. So yeah, we're sticking with the Keter Pile, as people call it, with Teeth Fault and Sargon and Wisdom of Beginning, but you just can't go wrong, it works, so I'm running it. So what T-Fault does when it's placed on rear, other than by a unit's ability, and you played a normal order this turn, you can Soul Blast one, look at the top five cards of your deck, call a card, and shuffle it, uh, or you can call an order card and add it to your hand. 
So basically it helps you thin out your deck by building a board or you can put orders into your hand, which is nice. And it also has the ability of when it attacks a grade three or greater unit, if you have four more units, it gets 10K. So it's like a 20K beater most of the time. So you can't go wrong with this. It works early game when you use wisdom at the beginning on grade two, call this, you know, you get to look at top five, build more of a board. So, you know, the card speaks for itself. It's really, really good, especially for Alden. Air Mac is returning to the Alden deck. It's a really good card. It gets 5k power when it's placed if you have an old Vanguard, and if it was placed by a card ability, it gets 15k instead of five. So it doesn't have to be Alden's ability, it can be the ability of Wisdom of Beginning. So as long as you have an Alden unit on your board, you're good, so your Vanguard. So this is just your call target essentially for when you use Alden's skill, you play it from hand, and then it gets like plus 35k. So you're, you're dealing with a like 40, 5k beat stick by itself so crazy big numbers and obviously you want to have copies of this in your hand so that's kind of the goal with air mac is just big number so that is it for the grade twos now we're going to move on to the grade ones so starting off we got four copies of wedge full inch dwagon wedge full wince <laughs> jeez uh then we have four copies of sergion two copies of gragion and then our three perfect guards so Wedge Fluence, the wagon. What this does is when it boosts a unit, if you have a grade three Vanguard with Alden, it gets 5K. And when it boosts a grade three Vanguard with Alden in its name, you can soul charge one and that unit gets an additional 2K to the end of the battle. So this is like your obvious Vanguard booster that every like new divine skill unit pretty much gets. Uh, it's really there for the soul charging. The soul charge is just really, really nice because we have Teeth Fault, we have Alden. You know, there's tons of cards that are gonna be soul blasting throughout the deck. So, so yeah, you do get the soul charge when it boosts your Vanguard. So keeping that in mind, pretty much it's there for the extra soul to use your card effects and, you know, plus 15K booster to your Vanguard can't hurt. And you're filling your board really easily. And, you know, it doesn't matter really where you put this, a 13K beater is always helpful. So now the bread and butter of the deck, uh, Sergion being that you can boost with it, get 5K, and at the end of the battle that it boosts you, you retire it. Look at the top two cards of your deck, put a card in your hand, put the rest on the bottom, and this goes to the drop zone. So unlike Rezile, where you can just keep reviving this over and over, you do get like the one use out of it. But because we're playing orders and part of the requirement is you have to either have more rear guards than your opponent or you have to have played an order this turn, it's still really good for the deck. Can't go wrong with Saragon. It just helps filter your deck and it's just overall a really good card. So sticking with that, then I'm running two copies of Gragon. Gragon is really good because we do blow through some counter blasts in this deck and there are times where, you know, having the counter charge is helpful at least once. So what this does is if your unit was placed by a card ability of your Vanguard with Divine Skill, this unit gets at the end of the battle that this boosted, retire it, counter charge, and it also gets an additional 5K. So all of our grade ones are pretty much 13K boosters. This one helps you counter charge, and that's basically the minute they use Alden's skill to call a new unit, this will get that extra five and the counter charge ability. But because, you know, you don't wanna miss out on, you know, the soul charge or the power or anything, and you only really need to counter charge like once for this deck to work optimally. I lifted it too, but you're more than welcome to like play with the ratios, three and three also works, but just been playing with this and I, I seem to like it. And of course, can't forget our perfect guards. So we got Aegis Mirror as our perfect guard of choice, our flavor of choice, if you will. But yeah, simple, you know, if you have one or less in hand, you don't have to discard for your PG. So keeping it simple. But that is it for the grade ones. Woo. Let's just go ahead and move on to the trigger units. So for our triggers, we're starting off with our Blade Feathers, our Gurgants, three Alpac Front, four Heal Triggers, and our Over Trigger is going to be Volnet. So Volnut is really good because what it does is when you drive check it, you can choose one of your rear guards and it gets the ability of once per turn. At the end of the battle this attack, it stands. And then if you didn't choose a card, because it has to be a standing rear guard, you can draw a card, choose a card from your hand and call it to rear. So what I like about Volnut is obviously the card you draw and call, you can apply the power afterwards because you can use the additional effect first before assigning the power. So Volna's just really good to help, you know, keep up the multi-attacking of the deck. And um, our Martinoa just kind of decks us out because we have uh, a lot of drawing and a lot of uh, board filling. So I do like Volnut for the extra attack, but if you want to do our Martinoa, we do have uh, grade three rear guards. 
So that might be beneficial as well. So whatever your choice, I still think Volnet is the better choice. And yeah, that's, uh, that's it for the triggers. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into our order units. So for our normal orders, we're running Bracing Angel Ladder. This helps with protection against decks like Shiranui or anything that targets your board. Obviously we already have some pretty good retire protection, but this makes, makes so they cannot be chosen by card effects in general. You know, and also it gives your Vanguard an extra five and it fills the soul, so can't go wrong with that. It's also a normal order, so if you just play it for the turn, just to, you know, get off Teethfelt and Sargon, it's there. Then this is like basically what makes the rest of the deck function with Teethfelt and Sargon. It's four copies of Wisdom of Beginning that cleared the world. So what Wisdom of Beginning does is you counter blast one, draw two cards, choose two cards from your hand, call them to rear. Uh, they have to be grade less than or equal to your Vanguard. And if you don't call, you have to discard two cards. So, or the cards that you drew, basically. So you're gonna call two cards no matter what. So the fact here is that you're gonna be using a counter blast to replace the, your hand with the units you're gonna call anyways. And because you played in order, you get to activate all your order effects. So it's it's just a really good card. And lastly, our Blitz Order, Elementary Sanctitude. It, this is pretty much in every standard deck. They even put it in trial decks, if you're lucky, like a gotcha thing. It's essentially, if your opponent's Vanguard has Triple Drive, this is free, but you can also play this from hand to your order zone when you're playing a Blitz Order and just discard a card from hand. It's like a PG, but it obviously gets around certain guard restricts because a lot of cards will say you can't guard with like, you know, cards to the Guardian Circle, but Blitz Orders don't go to the Guardian Circle, so it's a PG, you know, that goes to the Order Zone instead of the Guard Circle. So, Sigma and Elementaria. Yeah. But that is it for the deck profile. That was everything. So let me know what you guys think of the deck. If you guys are excited to play Alden, if you're trying out different lists. I know there's a more budget list that's not using the, uh, here, let me grab them, the Keter Pile package, if you will. Like basically every Keter deck is just using these three cards in every build that you can imagine, just as a full playset. So it kind of does limit how well you can play around with the deck, you know, but there are budget versions that, you know, allow you to basically still play all in the way it's meant to be played without having to worry about picking up, you know, expensive staples. But if you guys are interested in seeing like a budget variant of Alden with that don't use too much of, of these, maybe Sergion still stays because it's just such a good card. But if you're interested in a list that doesn't use Sergion just, you know, because it's an expensive card, let me know. I can put something together for you guys too. Just let me know if you're interested in that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out again to 50 Cards and all you guys for supporting us by using our discount code. So if you're looking to pick up singles, bundles, or anything on 50 Cards, be sure to use code Nexus to support us. And with that, that's pretty much it. My name is Richard, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.